everyone and welcome to a very interesting section of block coding. So how are you today? Is everything running well? Yes? So which means you are all set ready for an exciting day of today's classes, right? Yes. So in that excitement, I will tell you which is a topic that you are going to explore today. So in this class, you will be exploring an animation on a motion kitty. Wow, it's very interesting, right? Yes. So at this, I will show you a demo video of the working of motion kitty. So come, let's explore it now. You see this? When I click on the green flag, wow, my cat starts moving, right? Yes. So this is the animation that you will be exploring in the session. Okay. But before getting onto the animation, you will have to be aware of some of the coding concepts, right? Yes. So from this session, you will be learning what is algorithm and coding. And along with that, you will learn coding concepts like move block and event block. And using these concepts, you will make an animation on moving cat using move comments. Have you heard these topics before? No? Is it the first time? Yes. So no problem, we will explore it together in the session. So come, let's see one by one. Yes. Can you see what is on the screen? Yes. A mother is there and she is giving instructions to her daughter on how to brush her teeth, right? Yes. But can you read those instructions? Yes, there is some problem with it, right? Yes, what was it? Read it and see. Yes, the order is simple, right? Yes, now tell me, will the girl brush her teeth properly then? No, why? The order is jumbled, which means everything goes wrong, right? Yes, so here comes the importance of algorithm. Okay, so for every action, so that it be even washing your hands, you will have to follow certain step-by-step -step instructions in your daily life. Okay, so here I will tell you what an algorithm is. Algorithm means it is a step-by-step -step process that converts an input into output. Okay, so order of something is very important. That is what an algorithm tells you. So now let's see what is coding. Have you heard this term coding before? Yes, I'll tell you. Okay. Coding means if the computer have to do a particular task, we will have to give it a set of instructions step by step. Okay, so this is called as coding. Okay, so coding means the step by step instructions given to a computer to perform certain tasks. So this is what coding. And basically, coding is of two types. Okay, they are block based coding and text based coding. Okay. Beginners like you, juniors like you will be following only block based coding. Okay, so come, let's see where we are using this block based coding. Anyone, any idea where it is? No, right? Yes, I'll show you where it is. Okay, for that, all of you please follow my instruction and go to the Google Chrome. Have you gone to? Yes, okay, now all of you please search Scratch Online Editor. Please search all of you, Scratch Online Editor. Have you searched it? Yes. Have you got it? Yes. So now certain links arrived in front of you, right? Yes. So go for the first link. Click there. Now if you don't arrive directly into the Scratch animation, just click Create, then you will be arriving there. And its link will be provided to you in the supporting materials. Have you arrived there? Yes, right? Yes. So now you can see a window in front of you, right? Do you have any idea what this window is? Yes, this is what Scratch is. I'll tell you. See, Scratch is an online based web platform that will help beginners to do their animation, games, etc. Okay. So you like animations and games, right? Yes. But from this class, you will be learning how to perform them. That is how to create your own animations and games. Okay. Seems very interesting, right? Yes, I know. Okay. So now let's familiarize the Scratch window. Yes, there are certain tools in Scratch which we will be familiarizing now. So first I'll tell you, when you open the Scratch window, you can see a cute little cat over there, right? Yes. 
Do you know who it is? I'll tell you. See, the character or the group of characters that we use in our animation is called as the sprite. Okay. So, sprite means the characters that we use in our animation. So, here tell me who is the character? Cat, right? So, cat will be the sprite over there. Okay. So, now I'll tell you what a backdrop is. See, this. When you click on this, you can see the backdrops arriving. Okay. Which I'll tell you in detail in the coming. Okay. So, now you see this. There is a cat which is presented in a blue sky, right? Yes. So, the area where our sprite is being presented is called as the backdrop. Okay. So, the sprite means the character and the area where the sprite is presented is called as the backdrop. So, which is the backdrop here? Yes, of course, the blue sky, right? Yes. So, now all of you please click on the sprite panel and choose a character there. Have you chosen it? Yes. Okay, now all of you please click the backdrop panel and choose a backdrop to there. Have you done it? Yes, good. So, now you know how to design, right? Yes, so this is about the designing part in an animation. Okay, now you can delete this and keep a cat on the screen and delete the other sprite if you have chosen something else. Yes, have you done it? Okay, now I'll tell you the other tools that we use. Okay, here can you see a four arrow icon over there on the top? Here? Yes, that is called the presentation arrow. Okay, so when you click on the presentation view, you see that you'll get a full screen with your sprite and the backdrop over there. Okay, so you'll get your scratch animation fully presented while clicking that. Okay, and when I again click on that, it go back to the execution view. Okay. Okay, now I'll tell you the other tools that we use here. Okay, if I want to increase the number of sprites, that is, if I wanted the same sprite again to increase its number, I will have to right click on the sprite and just click the option duplicate. Wow, you saw that. Just try it. Or if you please click on the sprite and click duplicate and see what happens. Wow, you saw that. You get more copies of that, right? And if I again wanted to increase, again right click on it and click duplicate. Wow, I get three cats. What about you? Have you also got it? Yes. So, this is the way that you will increase the number of the sprite. Okay. If you wanted to increase the number of the same sprite, go for this option. It will help you for that. Okay. Which is called as duplicate. Now, I'll tell you how to delete this unwanted sprite. Okay. I just wanted only one cat, but now I'm having almost three cats in my animation, right? Yes. So, now I'm going to delete it. I'll show you how. Can you see a dustbin option about the sprite? Yes. So, that is called as a delete option. So, please click on that now. One sprite goes. Click on it again. Both the sprites which are unwanted goes now, right? Yes, so this is the way how you will delete the unwanted sprite. Was it interesting? Yes, right? So now I'll tell you how to add a sprite. You might have seen me adding a sprite, right? And you might have bothered how did I do it, right? No props, I'll teach you how did I do it, okay? See, when I click on the sprite panel, I can see four options arriving over there, right? Yes, so just above the sprite panel, I can see an option of search, right? Just click it on. Have you clicked it all of you? Yes, what have you seen now, guys? You have seen a scratch library which is providing you full of sprites, right? Yes, so there is a lot many sprites which is being given to you by the scratch, right? Yes, so from this, you can select whatever sprite you want. If I want cat, I'll select cat and you see what happens. Wow, I get a cat, right? Yes, and the second way, that is, click on it again, click on the sprite panel again, all of you. This is the area to paint. If you are good artists, if you are good at drawing, just go for this option. You can paint your own sprite over there. See, I can use the option to paint and I can do the painting work of my sprite from there. Get me? Yes, so this is about choosing 
the scratch from the scratch library and the second thing that is to paint your own sprite okay now comes the use of the third option which is a magic tool which is being provided to you by the computer okay see it's something like a random option when i click on it what happens you see have you noticed it when i click on it a random sprite appears it is a surprise tool which is provided by the computer okay something will randomly comes over there okay and next i'll show you if i had already the downloaded images of the sprite just click on it it directly go to your downloads okay so if you want to go to your downloads if you already have the downloaded images of your sprite just go for that option okay you'll get it from there so how many ways are there for adding a sprite tell me yes there were four ways of adding a sprite right the first we learned which is to choose from the scratch library the second thing was a painting option which you can paint your own sprite and the third thing was a random option and the fourth thing you can upload it from the system right yes it was very interesting right yes so now i'll tell you how to add a backdrop before that tell me what a backdrop was yes i'll tell you so for that all of you please click on the backdrop panel again four options appears right now it's your turn just click on the first thing and see what happens yes you go to the scratch library again right yes these four options are similar to that of a sprite okay so if you want some other backdrop just click that you see it will be appearing now you saw that yes so this is the way how you will add the backdrop from the scratch library have you got it yes so now i'll tell you which is the second way of adding a backdrop for that all of you please click on your backdrop panel and click the option of to paint yes so this is same as the second option if you wanted to paint your own backdrop you can go for this option okay just paint something and see use this uh, painting tool and paint something and see what happens yes so that is how you will get it okay yes now i'll tell you about the third option which is the random option provided by the computer okay so which is a magic tool you see yes so now the computer have given you randomly a magic tool right yes there is a magic a surprise option in front of you right yes have you seen that yes and the fourth thing just click the fourth option yes now what happens it go to your system right yes if you had already the downloaded images of the backdrop you can use it from there that is you can upload it from there now do you get what are the four ways of adding a sprite and backdrop yes right yes good okay have you tried it yes so now let's move on to the coding part okay are you ready yes i'll tell you about that this was the animation right yes for well, first let's create it okay so for that what i have to do i'll st start it from first okay yes so for that all of you just be ready with the scratch library okay now see this part the part where you can see the coding okay this is called as the statement library okay so there several options are there when i choose a sprite let it be any sprite see there are it comes a group of blocks right yes so this is called as a statement library okay i will drag one by one blocks from there to the this part okay that is that white screen in the middle okay that is called as the algorithm part okay the portion where we drag our chords is called the algorithm part okay and the area where i'm visualizing these things is called as the as the execution view okay when i click on that i can see it in the presentation view also okay you get me there are three columns which are first is the statement library in the middle is the algorithm part and third is the execution part you get me okay now it's time to code okay now it's time to code what tell me yes a moving cat okay so moving cat is the animation that we are going to do now so for that who will be the sprite is this man the sprite no so just delete him delete him okay so now all of you please do along with me 
Okay, all of you please click the sprite panel now and go to the scratch library and search for cat. Have you got the cat? Yes, all of you please choose it from the scratch library, search for a cat and take it. Yes, you have done it, right? Yes. So now in the designing part, one more thing is left, which is to add a backdrop. Okay. So all of you please go to the backdrop panel and choose a blue sky. Okay. Let it be any. There are two blue skies. Choose the first one. Okay. Have you chosen it? Yes. It was already there, right? Yes. So that blue sky. Choose it now. Yes. So now it's time to do the coding. That is now it's time to make our cat move. Okay. So for that, I'll tell you if you want to mark the beginning of an event. Okay. If you want to mark the start of a program or beginning of any events in Scratch, you will have to go to the event block, which is a yellow colored block with a bump at the top. Okay. You see that just under the sound block this is almost the fourth block you will get the event block and from there choose the first option which is when a green flag is clicked. Okay, this is probably almost the first block which starts all the programs in scratch. Okay, yes, please drag it now to the algorithm part all of you. Yes, so these are the starting blocks. Okay, you get me? Yes, so now all of you please click on the event block. Have you clicked it? Yes, good. So drag the first block from the event section which is when a green flag is clicked. Okay, this will trigger the other blocks under it to operate. Okay, have you moved it now? Yes, good. So now it's time to make my cat move. For that, which block will I choose? Any idea? Yes, you can get it from the name, right? Yes, motion. Okay, motion block, which means what? Every actions, okay, Every action, if it's related to the movement of a sprite, you will get it from the motion block. It is the motion block which is controlling all the actions like move, glide, rotate, point towards or go to a specific location or let it be any actions. If related to movement, you will get it only from the motion block. Okay, so if I wanted my cat to move some steps, Go for the first option from the motion block which is move 10 steps. So now all of you please drag first option from the motion block which is move 10 steps. Have you done it? Please drag it to the algorithm part now. You had now? Yes, which means now you are set with the cat which moves. Okay, I'll show you how it is. Please click on the green flag. Wow, you see something? Please click your green flag and see what happens. Wow, your cat starts moving now, right? Yes, I'll show you that in the presentation mode now. See? Wow, it's very interesting to see a cat moving, right? Now it's interesting to you to see it, right? Yes, so I'll tell you. Now, let's summarize what we have learned in this section. Okay, what are the topics that we have explored from the session? Yes, at first we learned what is algorithm, right? Yes, I had shown you a picture of a mom and her daughter and I explained to you what an algorithm was, right? Do you remember it? Yes. Algorithm means it was a step-by-step -step process that converts an input into output. Okay, Along with that, we learned what is coding so, and we applied it too, right? Yes. So, coding means giving instructions to the computer to do a particular task, right? Yes. We learned two types of codes. What were they? Yes. We learned event block which was starting block and which was used to give the command to the next block which is move block, right? Yes. So move block means it's related to the motion and which is giving the movements to the sprite, right? Yes. And from this session, we also learned how to add a sprite and a backdrop, right? Do you remember it? Yes. So how many ways are there to add a sprite and backdrop? Yes. 
both were having four ways and first way was to take it from the scratch library using that search icon the second thing is a painting right yes so if you are good at this you went for that option and you've painted your own sprite and backdrop right the third option was a magic tool which the computer was providing you randomly right you had seen that too you remember it yes and the fourth option was that if you already have downloaded images of the backdrop and the sprite you can upload it from there right yes we learned certain scratch elements like sprite backdrop adding sprite adding backdrop etc also from the session right yes so i hope all of you have enjoyed this section and thank you all for your participation have a nice day take care bye